So Pi back again here with some more Diablo 4 content and today I wanted to talk about couch co-op. Uh, I've been using this to get double all of my items so I went through and did uh, hell tides, got double drops using both characters and I kind of wanted to go over you know how to do it um, and what you need to actually equip down your character so that it survives. Now you can do the uh, allow your character to die and then just not res him during uh, Helltide, but I don't like that. Um, I think that's kind of cheating. So I keep my character alive um, by using certain abilities uh, that you can get relatively easy. So first vampiric powers, um, I use Resilience, Ooh, why is it going over here? Resilience real quick, um, just to give me the damage reduction, um, four perks on my armor. Um, I'm running Soul Brand just because it gives you the extra barrier. I do occasionally hit the heal button and that just gives me that extra barrier for, for the heal. Um, Beer's Mastery, I use this instead of um, the Don't Electrocute uh, under Abilities. Uh, let me see here. Instead of Overflowing Energy, just because it gives you a steady amount of damage reduction at all times. Um, the skill tree is pretty much similar. Um, I actually don't cast anything, so that's not really useful. Um, Using the cooldowns, I occasionally hit the button to give me a shield. Um, I have glass cannon on just because I have a necklace that gives me plus three, um, unfortunately. Uh, but other than that, just defensive aspects. Um, Paragon Tree really doesn't matter because you're just going to have them sit AFK. Um, one of the big things, though, is having protecting on your necklace. So you get that 7.5 second bubble it helps out a lot um but i'll go ahead and show you how i farm I do that here. for various things now you can do whispers with this character um hell tides uh nightmare dungeons um world bosses uh you can even do uh we'll do a legion event here in a sec uh during the video just so you can see but we're gonna go over here and do this uh little vampire area real quick just to kind of show you how easy it is to farm up mats for anything um complete whispers all that fun stuff as you can see i have a ridiculous number of mats right now almost 15 well 1600 with you know the characters combined i'm actually going to use that to level up my other characters uh later on uh, though most of them are almost maxed, so, but it'll help me out a little bit. I need time to prepare. Pretty much just keep him in the back. Now he gets pulled constantly. There's that bubble. He really doesn't need it. I, need um, I do have on his enchantments flame shield, just in case he goes down. He can res back up, or, you know, he has that health return and all that uh, from that. Yeah, but he can pretty much stand in anything and not die. Occasionally, you do have to hit the heal button, but it's not a big deal. I usually keep the controller on my lap and just reach over and tap it every once in a while good um, I do have uh, ice shards on this character or on this character over here just in case I want to freeze something he will actually do auto attacks and just kill stuff so he's actually doing something it's not just standing there um, but it's relatively easy farm up these mats this way. Um, like I said, he is pretty tanky. 
Occasionally you can hit flame shield, you know, I need time just have that buff in case, like, you know he's going to get hit with something hard, but you really don't even have to try. Um, I'm not ready yet. And what is nice, too, is because he's not 100, I still get uh, the occasional double mats uh, when farming. Um, Bashan and and you know, so it's kind of nice to get those double mats on occasion. I do have a lower character. I switch off every once in a while just to level them up as well. I'm not ready yet. But it is pretty easy to play with two controllers. Well, just tap a button on another controller every once in a while. Flame shield, lock all those attacks. I need time to yeah, but okay, let's see if this is up yet. I still got four minutes. I'm not ready yet. Yeah. So, actually, we'll go over and go into the hell tide. If I need I time hate. to prepare that. They really need to fix the uh, teleporting. Because it is super annoying getting attacked every fucking five seconds while you're trying to teleport. But I digress. I'm but we'll go over and just kind of show you with Hell Tides how it works. Um, you can actually pull them. You can even get on your horse and drag them. Uh, they'll just constantly teleport. Um, it's pretty easy. And you get drops for crystals for both characters. Um, as you see, the numbers are going up. Um, like I said, he's pretty, pretty tanky. Go ahead and do this event. I need kind of want to keep around him. When that bubble comes up, it's nice because you have that extra infinite damage or infinite health going on. So you don't even have to worry about you know, getting hit. It's almost like having an extra perk on your armor. And if he gets surrounded, you know, he can always do ice shield or whatever like that. Pop a flame shield. But pretty much all he has to do is just stand there <laughs> and do nothing. But I do like uh, farming up the double mats. It's real easy to do. Or, uh, fire shield. Like I said, uh, you can let him die, and you'll still get the things, but I, I, I feel like it's cheating, so I don't do it. I need more time. But this is uh, this is more of an exploit than a cheat, in my opinion, because I am still playing with two characters, regardless. I need time to prepare that. Uh, yeah, we'll go get it. I have enough time. And as you can see, he just kind of teleports. It does make it a little glitchy with the movements. Um. he gets that shield up all the time so you don't even have to worry and let's go over grab this with both characters get living steel for both of them it is pretty nice though I'm, yeah. uh, usually you can get you know uh, around 20 per you know Helltide, sometimes up to 40, which is real nice, uh, especially if you're farming Durial constantly. We'll go over here and do this public event just to kind of show you this. Um,
I cannot do that here. I need time to do that. Yeah, this has made farming for years, mats so much easier. Um, especially when the world boss pops, getting six of them <laughs> is great. I still haven't got the overkill for my barb, so. Just a, like a super tank, he just stays there. <laughs> Doesn't even have to worry about anything. Yeah, especially when they're your level. I mean, nothing really even faces him. does get hit, he just pops his bubble. I'm not ready Just to have that extra super and just spam out lightning spear or whatever. Trying to let him get down in hell so I can show, him, show you the flame shield. How that works, but he's so tanky it just doesn't even matter. <laughs> As you can see, I can get two exquisite blood instead of one off that. Well, I got three. That was weird. Also, when these guys spawn, you get double drops. Uh, so I got a trembling hand and a gurgling head. Uh, but that's it. I mean, couch co-op is a really easy way to play. Uh, if you build your second character well, um, you don't even have to worry about anything. He rarely ever dies. Uh, but, yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again on the channel. Bye.